Hi, in this video, we'll talk about difference between stack and heap. So for talking about these two memories, we should understand the system's memory first. So our computer memory is divided into three major sections. This is code section. This is stack. And this is heap. Now let us see how these three sections are used by our programs. If I write a program, then I may be declaring some variables in the program, so on. Then I have to compile the program, which gives me machine code of a program. This is machine code. Now for execution, we use machine code. This is the C language code, which is compiled and get, got converted into machine code. Now, let us see how this code section is used. Whenever you want to run any program, this machine code of a program has to be brought into this code section. So this process is called as loading. So whenever we want to run any program, so the program code, so the machine code of a program has to be brought into the main memory. So first it is loaded. Just like for playing any DVD, you must load the DVD in the player or you want to play any audio then you must insert a CD in the player so same way for running the program the machine code of a program should be loaded in the main memory then CPU will start executing this code or this program by taking one instruction at a time this is how the code is used so code is used for residing the program or loading the program now let us talk about stack and heap so if we observe here in the program, program is having three variables. Whatever the variables declared inside the program, the memory is required for these variables. So that memory is allocated from stack section. So once the program start executing, the beginning part of a program will allocate the memory for those variables from the stack. So let us say it will allocate the memory for A, and B and C. See, the allocation of the memory is done at runtime. But how much memory is required by this function or this program is decided at compile time only. So we call the size of the memory required for this variable, how much memory required for this, this program, size is static. But the allocation is done during the execution time of the program. Once the code is loaded here, then the execution of the code starts and the beginning of the code will allocate the memory for these three variables. So the allocation is dynamic, but the size is static. It is decided at the compile time. Next, this code or this program code can directly access the memory present inside the stack by using its addresses. As you know, every location has its address. So let us say the address of this location is 1000. So let us say this is 1002. This is 1004. So the program can access these location by directly using their addresses. And the block of memory allocated for this program inside the stack or the block of memory for this particular function, main function, is called as activation record. and is also called as a stack frame. So stack frame for main is created and that can be directly accessed by the main function or the program here. So one thing we understood is stack memory can be accessed directly 
by using it else. Then second thing we understood as the size of the stack memory is static. How much memory is required during the for running the program is pre-decided by the compiler. Whatever the variables we declare, the memory for those variables must be allocated here. So this is about the stack. Two important things about the stack is stack memory is directly accessed by the program and the size of the static stack memory is static. Now let us go to heap. So I take the memory again quickly. Here is the code section and this is heap. This is stack and this is heap. Code section. Now the program running here can directly access the memory only present inside the stack. It cannot access the memory from heap. It cannot access this memory directly from heap. Then how it's going to access memory from the heap? So first of all, let us understand why the heap memory is required. So during the execution of a program, suppose I have a program, a small piece of code I write here. Already it has some variables, A, B, C, D, E, some variables it is having. But as a programmer, I know that during the execution time of a program, I may require more memory apart from the variables I have declared. If my program is consuming more memory than these variables, then I need to get the memory from heap during the runtime. So here we can observe that the size of the memory required during the runtime is not yet decided. So we don't know. When, when the user is using my program, he will decide how much memory he requires. So that much memory should be allocated in heap. So for accessing the memory from a heap, as a programmer, I should pre-plan and declare some pointer. So I'm taking an integer type pointer here. So this pointer will help me to access the memory from heap. Let us see how. If I take this code, that is running inside main memory. Now once the program is loaded, the memory is allocated for these variables from stack. I'll remove this. Now, this program is loaded here and I have declared some variables. So as we have discussed just now that memory for those variables will be allocated inside the stack. So memory for A, B, C and so on and the memory for P is also allocated. So that P is a pointer. As I told you, if I need the memory from heap, then I need to take a pointer. So let us see how we get it. Now inside the program, at some point, I write P assign malloc of size 10. So I'm not writing the complete syntax, just I'm writing a statement, simple statement, malloc 10. So now this statement will allocate the memory from heap of total 10 bytes. So 10 bytes of memory is allocated from heap. And the address of this is stored inside P. Let us say the address of this location, beginning location is 5000. So 5000 stored in P. So P is pointing to this location, to this memory. Now this code can access this heap memory, not directly, but with the help of the pointer. So it can go to pointer directly and pointer will give the address of this memory. So finally, we can say that heap memory is 
accessed indirectly and how much memory is required for heap is decided at the runtime the size of the memory so the size of the memory is dynamic that's it so these are the two major differences between heap and the stack so the stack memory is directly accessible heap memory is indirectly accessible second stack memory size is predecided because it depends on the number of variables you declare in the program and this memory is for variables right and this memory is not by variables but by using malloc function and pointer so the pointer is compulsory required for accessing the memory from the heap that's it thanks for watching